Carl and the Dog, Island of Mysterious Wonders, written by C.Q. Wilder and illustrated by Blair Harvey. Carla, we made it to the Island of Mysterious Wonders that your friend the Day Octopus told us about. Let's look at our boat's dashboard to see if we can identify what is wrong with our boats. Can you help CQ and Carla identify what is wrong with the boat? Carla tells and asks CQ, I notice or see the letters E and F on the dashboard. Why is the arrow pointing to the E? CQ replies, Carla, that is the gas gauge. E means empty and F means full. It's telling us that we ran out of fuel or gas. That's why our boat stopped working. Carla, you must go explore the island to look for gas. I have a map that gives you directions to where the gas is. Take a look and find the X. There's where the gas is. Carla, be careful on your adventure. If you get tired, you can take a break or rest out of shape. Watch out for the island animals. Carla tells her friends, we should walk to the first shape and take a break. Shout, I'm ready, so we can start our adventure. Let's go. As Carla follows her map, she sees very tall trees. There are beautiful, colorful flowers all around and she can hear sounds in the background. Carla stops and tells her friends, we made it to the first shape on our map. What shape is this? What color is the shape? Do you see anything else? Growl! Carla asks the animal, why are you so loud? The animal replies, I'm Tim the Tiger. I'm growling because I'm sad. I don't know how to make friends. I'm only one animal and I'm lonely. Lonely means to be unhappy and by yourself. Carla tells Tim the Tiger, well maybe you can help me. I'm using this map to find fuel for my boat. If you come along with me, I can help you make some new friends. Tim the Tiger agrees and he and Carla are off on their adventure together. As Carla and Tim walk toward the second shape on the map, Carla teaches Tim how to ask a question. A question is when you want to find out about something. Carla gives Tim five words that can begin a question. Who, what, where, when, and why. Carla asks her friends, we have made it to the second shape. Do you know what shape and color it is? Carla sees some creatures in the water and tells Tim, let's get some water and ask our new friends a question. Don't be shy and try your best. As they walk toward the water, Carla asks Tim which word he will use to ask a question. Tim replies, I will use the word what in my question. Good luck, Tim. Tim asks his new friends a question. Hello, what are you and what are you sitting on? We are three frogs in a pond and we are sitting on leaves from the water lily plant. The leaves are also called lily pads. We three are waiting for insects or bugs to fly around us so we can eat them, the new friends reply. Carla tells Tim excitedly, you did a great job asking our friends a question by using the word what. Let's continue to use the map to find our fuel. We are almost halfway there. Let's keep walking. Tim looks very happy and is pleased. As Carla and Tim continue walking toward the third shape, Carla asks Tim a question. Are you hungry? Tim replies, when we stop at the next shape, we should look for food. Carla responds and says, Tim, I think that is a great idea. I can't wait to see if we will meet new friends. Tim asks Carla, what shape is this and what color is it? Can you help Carla identify the third shape and color? Carla notices a lot of water flowing or moving down and asks Tim, do you see the water? Is it another pond? Tim replies, no, Carla, it's a waterfall. A waterfall is when water falls from a very high place and continues to flow downstream. Carla notices animals running away and asks Tim a question. Why did those animals scurry or run away? Tim answers, I don't know. I'll go ask them why and we will see if they will share their carrots. I'm hungry. Excuse me, Tim politely says to the hiding rabbits. Why did you scurry or run away when we approached or walked up to the waterfall while you were eating your carrots? They reply, we are five hungry rabbits who are scared of you. You look hungry and we are your prey, so we scurried away to hide from you. Tim looks shocked and surprised and replies, Yes, five rabbits, I am hungry, but not for you. Will you share your carrots with me and my friends? We are so hungry from our walk. 
The five hungry rabbits are excited to share their carrots with their new friends while Tim and Carla eat and look at the map. Do you know what shape they will walk to next? Let's continue our search. <laughs> As Carla and Tim continue, they see monkeys swinging between trees at the fourth shape. Hello, monkeys. Where are you swimming to? Asked Tim. The monkeys reply, we are seven monkeys looking for fuel. We heard there was a man who could help us. We are searching for him now. Carla speaks up. Hi, monkeys. We too are looking for fuel. The nine of us can use our map because we are very close or almost there. All nine new friends continue their search for fuel and as they approach the cabin, Carbon notices or sees what looks to be an X. As the animals get closer, they see a man sitting on his porch. Before they can ask him a question, he says, Who are you and when did you get here? Tim says nicely, We nine are new friends and we are searching for fuel. We used our map to find the X and it has brought us to you. What is your name and will you help my friends by sharing your fuel? My name is Longhaired Sam and I would love to help. Many people find me, but they never ask me questions. They normally or usually just take my fuel without asking me and that angers me. You seem like you're a good friend, Tim. Tim replies happily, thank you so much. I try my best. As the monkeys wave with their fuel in hand, they swing off to their habitat or the place they live. As they leave, they yell, See you soon, Tim and Carla. Long-haired Sam asks Carla why she needs the fuel, and she replies, My friend CQ and I are on adventures, but our boat ran out of fuel. We were told of this island by a friend, so we stopped. Long-haired Sam states, Once you put fuel in your boat, you should visit a good friend of mine. He lives on a farm not too far away. If you go, give him this envelope. Will do, says Carla excitedly. Carla and Tim used the map to walk back to the square where they saw the monkeys, back to the rectangle where they met the friendly rabbits, back to the circle where they met frogs, and finally back to the diamond where Carla and Tim met. They only have to walk a little further to where CQ and the boat are. Carla hands CQ the gas and she pours it into the boat. Tim says to Carla, thank you so much for helping me make friends and be less shy. Asking questions is a great way to start a conversation. Be safe in your next adventure and I will see you again. As CQ pours the fuel in the tank, Carla tells her all about the animals she met, her new friend Longhaired Sam, and how they should deliver an envelope to his friend the farmer. Once CQ and Carla board the boat, Carla tells her stories of her adventure in detail. We must deliver the envelope to the farmer, CQ tells Carla. Carla shouts, we are on our way to our next adventure. We thank you for watching and reading. For more information about Carla, please visit www.carladog.com.